Good morning, SJB. My name is Amanda, and you're watching SJB TV. All yearbook committee members are asked to please meet after school today in room 222 for a very important session. If you cannot make it, please see the editors or staff advisors. Thanks from Mr. D'Souza. Halloween for Hunger is almost here, Burbuff. This is your chance to earn Christian service hours from an event that is loads of fun and provides immense amounts of good service to the less fortunate. Forms are available in the main office and are due by October 17th. Grab a group of friends and look into participating in this year's Halloween for Hunger as we try to scare away hunger on October 31st. And don't forget, Braves, if you can't participate in this year's Halloween for Hunger but are still looking for Christian service hours, please visit the Volunteer Showcase across from student services to see what important opportunities are out there. Attention all Braves who were a part of the Public Speaking and Leadership Club last year. There will be a quick meeting today, Thursday, October 16th, at the beginning of period three in the library in seminar room number one. This meeting will only take 15 minutes. If you cannot attend, please do not stress. Just let me know, Amanda Pope, as soon as possible. See you there. And finally, this message is for all Art Club members. Just a reminder that there will be a meeting today after school in room T159A for the next workshop. Thanks from Ms. Fitzpatrick and Mrs. Rouse. Hey Braves, new spirit wear is finally here. Come out to the CAF in your lunch to get your gear. We have limited stock, so be sure to get there early to avoid disappointment. And now over to Brendan for our sports news. Thanks, Amanda. The junior boys basketball players are reminded of tonight's final game, sorry, tryout, at 7.30 p.m. Please be changed, stretched, and ready to go at the, for those of you guys can be on the field, ready to go for the end of the volleyball game. If you cannot make it for any reason, please let Mr. Dunphy or Mr. D'Souza know ASAP. The girls' field hockey team saw their season come to a sad end last night against the STM Knights in their semifinal game. The girls fought bravely, but were unable to keep the Knights away. They played especially well for their first game ever on the turf, though. Great work as always, ladies. You were a class act all the way, and that's what it means to be a brave here. Miss Merritt would like to thank Miss Fazari for all her help this season and for keeping her somewhat sane. And a big thanks to the girls, especially those who are leaving us. Cassidy Noonan, Vicky Doan, Natalie Alfano, and Rachel Purs. Another special thanks to Sandra Bay, a.k.a. Shooter, who will forever have a misshapen claw instead of a hand. It was well worth your sacrifice, Sandra. Girls, please be sure to uh, bring your clean uniforms, both shorts and top, as well as your stick to Miss Merritt next week. Attention all period five teachers. All members of the Midget Girls basketball team are to be dismissed at 2.30 p.m. today for their game at, at BR. There will be no announcement during period five, so please dismiss the players from your classes at 2.30. Thank you from Coach Luciani. Good luck to junior boys volleyball team as they play against Bishop Ryan tonight in our gym at 5.30 p.m. The team is re reminded to be in our gym by 5 p.m. Uh, to begin immediately following their senior game. Good luck and go Braves. Athletic Council members are asked to see Ms. Merritt very briefly outside the Phys Ed office after the announcements today. St. Margaret Mary Alacoque was born in France on July 22, 1647, and was the fifth of seven brothers and sisters. She was left orphaned at the age of eight and faced the precarious situation of her family and her suffering with profound love for Christ and for others. At a young age, she discovered her vocation to the religious life. 
At the age of 23, she entered the monastery of the Sisters of the Visitation, founded in 1610 by St. Francis de Sales and St. Jane Francis de Chantal. She was a wise and prudent nun of good humor and a charitable heart. Between 1673 and 1688, she received apparitions from Jesus, who entrusted her with a devotion to the Sacred Heart, the establishing of the Feast of the Sacred Heart on the Friday following the Solemnity of Corpus Christi, and the practice of the First Friday Devotions and Holy Hours. She died at the age of 43 and was canonized by Pope Benedict XV in 1920. Her feast day is October 16th. Since 2002, her relics have been venerated around the world. Well, all the dust is settled in the fundraising campaign, and I'm still getting grief from my wife over all the chocolate laying around in the house. We have some winners to announce. Top seller prizes, winning $300, Brent Doran from Mr. Aramo's class. $150 each go to Ryan Gallagher from Ms. Palchuk's class and Polly Sarekas from Mr. Verasso's class, well done. The following students receive $25 each in cash in the form of a check. Raham Alakidi, TJ Medeiros, Luca Siciliano, Matt Steele, Jessica Hopkins, Lanell Briscoe, Ali Necht, Iman Riza, John Cantor, Haley Kawa, Abigail Mikado, four of those students from Mr. Fliss's period one class, and the draw prize winners for the iPad. I was waiting for the drum roll, it didn't happen. Uh, Ryan Pinheiro from Mr. Famous period one class, good job, for the Lululemon yoga mat, an invisible exercise mat, that's awesome. Terrence Lennox, and the winners of those ridiculous five pound chocolate bars, Pina Maleka, Owen Taylor, Lindsey Baker, Madison Falcons, Brent Doran, Anthony Kudo, Christina Esposto, Linnell Briscoe, again, and Acacia Charles. And last week from our collection, from October 15th, the winner of a movie pass was Siobhan Wade from Mr. Fliss's class. So far, Brabuff, we have, you have returned $23,000, but we still have $13,500 in chocolate in your hands. So please, bring the chocolate back. Bring in the money that you have collected. Let's wrap this up and we can get back to you and let you know how much money you raised for your activities here at Burbuff this year. And now, Mr. Block. Good morning again, Braves. Just a couple of important announcements for, to all those who are attending the pilgrimage this year. So please make a note to be in front of our school this Sunday at 9 a.m. The attendance will be taken upon boarding a bus, and you will have to find the right bus. There will be five of them. Those who are not taking the bus must record their presence with one of our teachers upon arrival at Cathedral High School. We are gathering in the gym. All walkers must record their attendance on the end of the walk as well before you go home. Now, on the morning of the walk, have a good breakfast and bring a refillable water bottle. And if you need one, you can get one from me. Here it is. You can get it for free. So, come and see me. And finally, the pledge money will be collected next week and the following week. So, do not have to, you don't have to bring them right away today or tomorrow. You can bring them after the pilgrimage. Thank you, and I'll repeat that tomorrow as well. Have a great day, and now over to our anchors. That's all for our news today, Braves. Remember, nothing is too small to know, and nothing is too big to attempt. Have a blessed day, Braves. <laughs>